DJI Mavic 3's new cruise control feature is a game changer and in this video I'm going to tell you guys why and give you a little rundown about how it works. Let's jump into it. So cruise control came out last month and I haven't really played with it, but after watching a few YouTube videos, I was very intrigued by it and I wanted to get out there and test it out for myself. Not only did I find it to be a complete and total game changer, but I found it to be incredibly useful and I'm very excited to show you guys how it works. At first, I did kind of dismiss the new feature as just something gimmicky and that's why I wasn't really into it. But by far, I was very, very wrong. So right now, I'm going to show you guys how to get this feature enabled on your DJI Mavic 3 drone. First things first is make sure your drone is up to date with the latest firmware and then follow these steps. Go to the three dots, control, scroll down to button customizations. And there I would recommend using the C2 button because it's in the best place for you to actually click the button with your fingers while you're flying. To become familiar with the new cruise control feature, I would recommend flying in a straight line for your first flight with it. And what you want to do is you just want to fly straight forward. So get to the altitude that you want and then begin flying. Once you've locked in your speed and really where you want to be at, you hit that C2 button to lock it in and to turn on the cruise control. Now you will notice if you let go of the sticks, the drone will just continue to fly straight forward. Now, what if you're headed straight toward an obstacle and you need to avoid it? Well, you can simply turn off the cruise control function by hitting the C2 button, or you can take over the sticks and maneuver the drone out of the way. So even though you're locked in on cruise control, by no means are you stuck. You can just take the sticks and avoid whatever obstacle you're headed toward. So this feature does work in different flight modes. So you can use it in normal mode, you can use it in sport mode, and you can use it in tripod mode. So you basically have the different modes available to you while you're using this feature, which is awesome. A lot of people struggle keeping their finger in the same spot to get that perfect forward flight motion. So this really takes everything that you struggled with before and simplifies it in a way to where anybody can do it now. Now, you can also set cruise control in yaw movement as well. So not just forward and backward, you can also do it when you're spinning around and getting some different shots. This will allow the drone to fly and it will allow you to focus more on the gimbal movements, which means you can really get some cinematic shots with this, something I didn't really realize. All of the different possibilities of shots that you can get with this feature is really incredible. And it's almost like two people are flying the drone. Now, one thing I do want to mention that I feel like people are going to ask about is, can you set the exact speed? So if I want to fly exactly 38 miles an hour, can I do that? No, you can't, unfortunately. The cruise control feature really only works for setting direction, I've noticed. So as you will see, if you look at the bottom, you can see the miles per hour, the speed, adjusting slightly. So there's not too much wind it was kind of a windy day but the drone is always going to correct for that wind so especially if you're flying into it it may actually fluctuate in speed so just keep that in mind that there's really no way to dial in an exact speed you just fly in the direction you want to fly and it'll stay around the speed and direction that you set and another cool thing too, if you have the original Mavic 3 with the telephoto lens, is you can set your zoom. So I set it to seven times zoom. And then you can also set a yaw movement, lock it in with cruise control, which then allows you to get super smooth, cinematic, zoomed in shots. So cruise control is pretty much going to work no matter what you set. The only thing I didn't try is the pitch, like going up and down. So I really wish I did try that during this test, but maybe in another video. But anyway, I just think that this feature is a game changer. It is so awesome. And if you haven't used it yet, 
it is not gimmicky at all. Go out there, try it out for yourself, and you will see, honestly, how impressive it is. I love that DJI has continued to add new features to the drone, and honestly, I really hope to see this feature come to my Mini 3 Pro in the future, seeing that this is really just software and it can probably be added to really any of their new drones. But it is currently only on the Mavic 3 as of the recording of this video. But if this video helped you out at all today, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also please be sure to give the video a thumbs up so that way it ranks higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.